Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add these fun scribble and drawing line effects on top of your photos in Photoshop. So to get started, I'm just going to have a photo open and I'm going to be working with the pen tool in this tutorial. So there's different pen tools. You can just use the free form. It's just like a way to draw and scribble freely, or you can use the traditional pen tool to create more like curved lines like so. So I'm going to right click and delete that path for now. Or you can just undo. But the other thing you want to make sure you have set for this is your brush. So in your brushes tool and also in the brush settings window, you want to make sure you're working with a brush that has shape dynamics turned on so that we can get this tapering and that your control is pen pressure. So if you don't have a tablet or a Wacom tablet or whatever, that's fine. This is going to be a tutorial that we can do without the pen pressure or without a tablet. So also in the size of the brush, just make it a size that's reasonable for your photo. You know, something not too thin or thick. So you can see this is pretty good for me here, like a 45, but it's going to be different based on the size of your photo. Now, when we go to the pen tool, let's just grab my freeform pen tool. Here's where I can click and draw kind of whatever lines I want. And if I right click on this line and click stroke path, I can choose a brush and make sure simulate pressure is going to be turned on. That's what's going to give it that tapering from the start to the end of the path. And then if I just right click and delete the path, I can see we have this tapered brush stroke. So I can go through and draw all these little outlines that I want and even just kind of get have fun with it. Now, if I did all those lines and I right click, I want to make sure that all of them are active, not just this one. So I can change to something like the convert anchor point tool and just make sure I unclick so that all of them are active kind of or highlight them all. And I can stroke path of all of them, simulate the pressure. And now we have all these different little scribble drawings. But the cool part is they have the, the pressure simulated. Just to show you what that looks like when you don't have the pressure simulated is something like this um, or like this. If, if I stroke these and I don't simulate pressure, then you see we just have like a standard stroke as if I would have just took the brush and brushed on it. There's no, no different than just kind of painting on it. So that's the cool part about doing it this way with the brush tool is you see the difference between this line and this line, it doesn't really look as good without that taper. If you do happen to have a stylus, you can just brush on and just make sure that in your brush settings menu, you have the shape dynamics controlled by pen pressure. The other thing to keep in mind is actually I've accidentally been working on the original layer. That's something you maybe don't want to do. What you actually would prefer to do is just have the original layer as the background and be working on a new layer so that you have the, the scribbles and doodles on their own layer. And another example to show you like I did in the intro is, let's say you can include some masking in this as well. So if I did like a swirl around her and right click, stroke the path, simulate pressure like we've been doing. If I wanna make it appear as though her arms are going through these swirls, I can actually just duplicate the original background layer and set this layer to hide all, you know, create a layer mask there. So everything that's black won't be shown. And then I can just grab my paintbrush tool, grab a white paintbrush and simply fill in the areas that I want the original photo to show through a little bit. So if I want to make it look like her arm, is going through this hole. I can do that. I can maybe make this line go under her hand and just kind of see what it would look like with this kind of optical illusion that we can create. So this is just another fun idea on how you can make the scribbles interact with whatever the subject of your photo is. If I did want to bring some back, I can switch to black and that'll bring back and paint back in the layer mask. And then I can also right click on 
any of these scribbles or doodles and I can add blending options on them as well. So if I wanted to add like an outer glow or a different gradient overlay or something like that, I just I would just want to make sure that I if I do have more like an outer glow that I make sure my mask takes into consideration that there is that glow and try not to do something too patchy. So that's this tutorial on how to add doodles and scribbles with the pen and brush tool and some other tips and tricks around it. If you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all my new future videos and check out hundreds of more Photoshop tutorials in the playlist on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.